Hi, I'm Brent. This is a video update on some more information to help you diagnose uh, SST six-speed semi-automatic Mitsubishi Lancer transmission problems. Now, particularly today, we've got the mechatronic unit apart, and you can see on some of our other video updates what the mechatronic does. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details on that today, but I just want to show you what some of these parts look like when they're dismantled. And you can see here we've got the back side of the mechatronic unit, which this is normally what you can see from the front side. And this is the back side which is bolted up to the back and inside of the transmission. And we'll just quickly come over here just so you can see. This is what you remove when you move the mechatronic unit in place and that all sits inside here and matches all the ports that control the clutch packs because remember it's a hydraulic operated manual transmission. Now this particular car has um, reported um, erratic shifting between gears so it misses the odd gear so sometimes it won't select first, third, or fifth and we've checked the mechatronic unit we've checked all the clutch packs manually with the gearbox dismantled like you've just seen in a non-hydraulic state with compressed air and we have diagnosed that the continuing problem is potentially a faulty um, solenoid which controls the port or it might be dirt in the mechatronic unit so i get my cameraman up nice and close and this particular solenoid which is obviously electronically operated these are the ones that have got ports built in with a plunger in here and that bolts up in in place sorry that way um, and that operates and you can see the the plunger inside the uh, solenoid there but this bit these ones along here operate a piston with a um, an o-ring and these are the parts that effectively are controlled by the brain and the mechatronic unit and the electronic ecu which is part of this assembly here that tells it to shift gears which controls the hydraulic fluid going through your transmission so if these ports and pistons get dirt in them or they don't seal properly you're never going to get a nice neat transmission change or it might not actually select gears correctly so if you're looking to understand how to do this a little bit more self these are the things you need they're quite delicate you got to be careful how you pull them apart and how you clean these things out but once you've um, got a bit of an idea of what you're doing you can then put it all back together put it back in the car plumb it all up with your with the right transmission oil and then hopefully it'll fix the problem with your gear shifting if it doesn't you may need a whole brand new mechatronic unit which is quite a few thousand dollars or you might separately have a uh, seal problem within the clutch packs which requires you to pull the whole transmission apart so there you have it a little bit more information about the six-speed transmission in the mitsubishi lancer evo 10 and rally out models for more photos and videos you can follow us on this YouTube channel. I'll take some close-up photos of these on the bottom of this link. You'll take us back to a Facebook page where you can understand a little bit more. But um, for today, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. I'm Brett Middleton. No matter where you are in the world, I hope this has helped you learn more about your Mitsubishi. Bye for now.